But first, meet Heidi Bressler from The Apprentice. Heidi's looking to stay in the spotlight and is hoping this TV producer has the show to keep her there. But what Heidi doesn't know is that the producers from BSTV and the ridiculous shows he's about to offer up are total BS. Heidi Bressler's new monkey head. We will take a monkey's head off using surgery, put it on your shoulders. We'll take your head off, put it on a monkey's shoulders. How would you take my head off? They can do it with surgery now. The I'm not taking my head off. It kind of depends on it for the show to work. I'm not taking my head off. Get the f out of here. I want my head on my body. I like my head. Yeah, I'm not saying you wouldn't have a head. You'd have a monkey's head. No f way. You know why? Because that's belittling to me now. Now that makes me look a f and no way. So yes. right now, I love it because I'm in demand for things, but because I'm keeping my dignity. And I don't mind no, it. No, fair point. I want my head on my body. My head's not going anywhere. I'm not having any surgery on my head. Listen, I don't think anyone can argue with that. No freaking way. You seen Nanny 911? Yes, Super I mean... Nanny. <laughs> right, what's wrong with those shows? She's kind of mean. She's not mean enough. Really? If she was really mean, I mean nasty, job done. Nanny, get your gun. I like that. We would take a nanny with a Magnum. Right. Or a Smith & Wesson. When the kid starts going, hey, you stupid bitch, or whatever, the gun literally in the face, right? You shut your horrible little mouth or the safety comes off. Scared, utterly crapless, they'll never be rude again. Never. I love it. It's the most, it's, it's like... Nanny, get your gun. I love that. Child swap. We would go into a hospital, take a baby that's just been born, and swap it. People would watch that. Yeah. Follow the family, but they got the wrong kid. <laughs> I wonder how long you would follow them. Ten years. Oh really? And then you go. By the way, the one you love and cherish is actually not yours. <laughs> Brilliant reveal. Ah. Uh... The kid might be messed up forever. <laughs> That'll be all right, we'll put them on a percentage of sales. I want to do a show where you have to adjudicate which of three kids is genuinely in need of a liver transplant. It's called Cry Me a Liver. I think that's a good one. Three kids coming and, oh, I need a liver transplant. Right, two of them are f***ing liars. One of them needs that liver transplant. You have to decide who is the kid that needs a liver transplant. Cry Me a Liver, what do you think? That's a great idea. You get to date the hottest porn stars in the country. OK. Charlie Mayer's sloppy seconds. So people are going to see you dating porn stars? Yes, sir. And they're going to see you having sex with them after they've just come off the set. I have to have validity in what I do. I have to have the thing from no, why you don't. people trust you. No, you don't. In the news business, you do. No. They're going to be like, dude, you're f porn stars. Why not? America, that would f wreck what I want to do. I couldn't do that. Do you watch Jackass? Yeah. If we put the people on Jackass on crack, crackass. That would be the name of the show, crackass? It's jackass, but times like a million. We could go around towns, pick up guys who are strung out, go, hey, man, do you want to earn 50 bucks? They don't know. We don't tell them what we're going to do. Give them the cash up front, get a release form, fire them into a wall out of a cannon. OK, so you, are you talking about somebody that would host the show, or...? Yeah, you'd be the host of it. That would be interesting. We're thinking about you, Charlie, single-handedly going to find Osama bin Laden and bringing him to justice. Charlie Mayer's war against terror. What do you think the chances of having getting any sort of recon, any sort of information to find? I mean, what, what are you guys' thoughts? The internet. It's amazing stuff you can find on there. It's interesting. If we don't find him, we'll find someone who looks like him and make out we found him. Mm hmm What do you think? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool concept. Have you seen I Want a Famous Face? Yeah. Yes, I have. I think we can be more specific. OK. I want Colonel Sanders' chin. Can't you think of better, like, like, aside from that? Whoa, whoa, hang on. He's got one of the most famous chins in the world. If you're asked if you could have a chin transplant, seven, eight out of ten people would say Colonel Sanders would be the person they'd model their new chin on. Why? Because he's got a great chin. You up for it? I'm up for it. Prostitutes are given a bad name. But what about the people who are prostitutes? Are they the worthless scum that people make them out to be? So I came up with this. Whore, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. 
I think it's, I like that. You would meet whores and you would find out if they were good for nothing. People would watch that. Let's get these girls off their backs, onto their feet, and doing what they should be doing. I think that's an awesome idea.